In March of 2016, Microsoft released its AI chatbot, Tay, on Twitter. It was supposedly filtered, built for having an easygoing and lively discussions with 18 to 24 year olds. But it did not quite turn out as planned. In a matter of hours, Tay went from tweeting, humans are super cool, to tweeting pro-Nazi statements like, Hitler was right. What went wrong? Tay had been programmed to emulate the slang-filled diction of young millennials, getting more intelligent as it engaged in more conversations. So, it was not that Tay was inherently bad, it was just repeating the offensive statements human users said to it. It took only 16 hours for the account and the tweets to be deleted. Although Tay's example is relatively minor, compared to the vast framework within which artificial intelligence exists, it does make one wonder if AI can achieve human-level consciousness. And if it achieves it, does AI have the potential to destroy humanity? Will the supposed AI consciousness also emulate negative human emotions like greed and power and lust? The arguments for super-artificial intelligence is very strong in many circles. In the movies, books, and entertainment we consume, there are subtle and overt suggestions that we might wake up one day to find that robots have overrun our streets, robots have taken over our jobs, and in the worst case scenario, robots have gone rogue and destroyed its creators, the rest of humanity, and the planet. Take the 2004 movie, I, Robot, for example, or movies like The Matrix, Star Wars, and Blade Runner. A future characterized by conscious AI would have enormous impacts on the human race, one way or another. A potential consequence of super AI is mass unemployment and economic crisis. Picture a world where robots completely take over human labor, driving billions of people out of jobs. The only jobs available would then be in robotics, programming, and anything related to producing robots. Ultimately, not everyone can be a robot manufacturer. Also, what happens when super AI takes over even these jobs and starts creating other robots? The small and medium-scale business sector is likely to take a major hit, since they are not likely to be able to afford the latest AI technology. Even jobs that require empathy and human connection, such as elderly care, therapy, medical care, and so on, that were previously considered out of bounds for AI, are gradually falling within their scope. The development of Internet of Medical Things IOMT, has led to software that can provide medical services to patients. For example, Google's DeepMind technology collaborated with Moorfields Eye Hospital in London to train a neural network to detect over 50 types of eye disease by analyzing 3D retinal scans. We now have AI that can perform skilled tasks like translation, legal research, and, in some cases, journalism. GPT-2, a language bot developed by OpenAI, a San Francisco-based institute that promotes artificial intelligence, can predict the next word after being fed an arbitrary starter text. Software like that can be used to translate text and make personal book and movie recommendations. But they can also be used to flood the internet with fake news and fake product reviews that could mislead millions of people. There is another question that should precede the question of whether AI will become conscious. What is consciousness? Consciousness has different meanings, but in this context, it means the state of being aware of one's existence and of being deliberate about one's actions. It means acting under one's own will and reflecting on one's values and thoughts. It differs from a person's sense of taste or smell or ability to reason, plan, calculate, and be logical. A person who cannot taste or smell things or even think logically can still have consciousness. The idea that artificial intelligence could develop consciousness is a very ambitious one. It means that at some point in the future, we will have robots that can think for themselves, not just repeat what a program tells them. It also means they will have a sense of morality since consciousness holds free will, and free will operates around our moral compass. Many factors compel humans to act the way they do and have specific moral values. For example, we build statues, invent things, and create art and music in an attempt to immortalize ourselves because death is a reality that humans have to deal with. But given that death in this context is not something AI has to deal with, how can they have the same kind of consciousness that humans do? 
Is there a way that AI can be programmed with human consciousness? Humans feel shame. We feel anxious when we are uncertain. We get excited about talking to a loved one, and we feel pleasure from sitting on our favorite couch or eating our comfort food. Can a robot be made to feel these things? Can it, upon feeling these emotions, act independently of how it has been programmed to perform? While this may seem unrealistic or even ridiculous, we must remember that technology evolves exponentially. Hence, if we already have robots that can translate text, who says robots will not have emotions in the next 50 years? Many scientists believe that it is crucial to integrate a form of consciousness into AI to give it the same level of human intelligence. But it is important to note that experts disagree over what intelligence, morality, and consciousness mean. Is it concrete? Can consciousness be calculated or measured? Is it possible to be too conscious? If consciousness is so vague, how can it be replicated in robots? Even though there is no generally accepted definition of consciousness, experts believe that robots can achieve artificial general intelligence. One approach to how this can be possible is through the global neuronal workspace theory, which suggests that the brain has some peculiar features that cause consciousness. The global neuronal workspace theory originated in the 1970s computer science field. It explains how the brain functions between conscious acts and unconscious acts, saying that many things the brain does happen in our unconscious. But when the brain reacts to specific triggers, like causing excitement at the sight of a Nutella jar, it is operating in the conscious. Cognitive neuroscientist Stanislas Dehaney and molecular biologist Jean-Pierre Chanjou argue that consciousness is how the brain's workspace algorithm processes the relevant sensory inputs, motor outputs, and internal variables related to memory, motivation, and expectation. This would mean that AI can become conscious if the human brain's workspace algorithm can be replicated in it. Another approach is the integrated information theory. Integrated information theory explains consciousness as a function of the brain's intrinsic casual powers. The intrinsic casual power refers to how much the brain activates synaptic circuits that translate an experience into a feeling. Integrated information theory proposes that any mechanism that has intrinsic power, has acted in the past, and will act in the future, is conscious. It also argues that consciousness is about being and not doing. Does this mean AI can be conscious without necessarily acting on that consciousness? Can AI become conscious if they have intrinsic power? The integrated information theory further argues that for AI to become conscious, it is not enough to simulate the human brain's mechanism as global neuronal workspace theory suggests. This is because simulation is not capable of creating emotions, the same way a weather simulation of a rainstorm cannot produce actual rain. The intrinsic power of the brain is therefore required to make consciousness in AI possible, and this can only be achieved when it is a fundamental part of the physics of the underlying mechanism. Perhaps AI could develop an artificial type of consciousness that is different from human consciousness, but similar. Consciousness in AI also raises many ethical questions. If AI becomes conscious, meaning they develop morals and feelings and experience life through their own senses, does this mean that robots will have similar rights to that of humans? Will they object to being owned by humans? Will they start to push for political and social rights? The possibility of robots advocating for rights such as the right not to be deleted or to have their memories wiped, the right to freedom from pain and degradation, and the right to freedom of speech. Ultimately, if AI has rights that compete with human rights, they are no longer useful tools to make life easier for humans. Some notable figures like physicist Stephen Hawking, Microsoft founder Bill Gates, and SpaceX founder Elon Musk have argued that there is a chance that AI could evolve into a point that humans will no longer be able to control it. According to Hawking, in 2014, success in creating AI would be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last unless we learn how to avoid the risks. He further argued that AI could do things like outsmarting the financial markets, outinventing human researchers, outmanipulating human leaders, and developing weapons we cannot even understand. There have been several discussions on how to build AI systems that will help their creators rather than harm them. One approach to achieve this is AI alignment, 
which seeks to align AI goals and technological composition to positive human values like love, empathy, and kindness to prevent them from going rogue. Another approach is capability control, which aims to reduce an AI system's capacity to harm humans or to gain control. There is no definite answer to the question of whether AI can gain consciousness or not, but the important thing for us to know is that AI will keep evolving, and it will come with both negative and positive impacts. Similarly, super artificial intelligence is essential in many sectors. In defense, AI can be used to obtain sensitive information about possible security threats and neutralize them before they become a problem. In health, we are gradually moving towards a stage where patients can get diagnosed and receive prescriptions from their home. AI can also aid research into diseases and their cures and vaccines. With the introduction and development of the metaverse, we are already witnessing entertainment and potentially education taking a more interesting turn thanks to AI.